So what is an arcade racing game? The dictionary defines arcade as, oh, uh, that's not even close to what I'm thinking. So how I define arcade is unrealistic uh, for racing specifically. That can be pretty much anything like Need for Speed, Forza to an extent. Uh, I would consider games like Gran Turismo as an example to not be arcade games, at least for the purposes of this series. If you narrow down a Steam search by the tags Arcade and Racing, you'll get titles like Hot Wheels Unleashed, The Crew, Wreckfest, Grid Legends. I agree with all of these games, but they're big games, they're popular games, they're games that you have probably heard of before. And so in a not so subtle hint to Iron Pineapple, I've decided to take a look at five unknown racing games that you can find on Steam or on Game Pass. The criteria is fairly basic, it just needs to be a racing game, and it needs to be arcadey. That's basically it. So if that sounds interesting to you, come on and join me. Let's go check out the first one. The first game today is called Super Toy Cars Off-Road. It's got eight user reviews on Steam, but it definitely qualifies for our criteria today. Racing and arcade are both of the tags that are in here. And I figure, you know what, let's take a look. It looks pretty okay, the art in particular for the game looks great, and uh, it does make a good first impression. Main menu looks solid, career mode, quick race, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just get into a quick race and see what this game is all about. A few different options for us, including drifting, which is cool. But let's just go for a regular one, uh, medium two laps, sounds good to me. A couple of different car choices here, <laughs> definitely some interesting ones. There's a Supra, uh, a WRC card, monster trucks, yeah, lots of interesting options. All right, looking good so far. You know, it's kind of a toy car theme. Oh, that's the entire point of it, as you would expect. Uh, and I do like these kind of games where everything is big and you are small. I find that to be kind of fun, so I decided for my purposes I'm going to be running with the big boy monster truck called Thunder. Uh, and immediately out of the gate we got smashed by the person behind us, which is a great start. And it looks like there are shortcuts as well. Huh. Okay, I am really stuck on the terrain. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I didn't think I could make it through there, but thankfully I was able to. Physics feel, uh, loose, to say the least. Like, as we're rounding some of these corners, I am really, uh, <laughs> jittering all over the place. At least that's how it feels. The game looks fine, but it's, whoa, <laughs> really easy to get caught on stuff, too. I'm not sure if this is just the monster truck that's having this problem, or if it's other vehicles as well, but uh, we'll have to give it a shot. And power-ups, it looks like it's just the A button to blast through things with those. They are these little, uh, I guess, things that you would pick up from a plachinko machine? Is that what they're called? Okay, so this one's got red targeting reticle. It's locked onto whatever car is in front of me. Basically a red shell, I'm assuming, and it looks like that was indeed the case. I've actually managed to catch up to the pack here, up into fourth place from the looks of things. I'm gonna attempt the shortcut again. Oh, not bad. Our health ain't looking too good at the moment. I suspect that once that's done, our race is going to be over, but uh, there's really only one way to find out. We also have a magic eight ball. Oh. <laughs> okay, that literally shoots a magic eight ball. I'll keep that in mind. You know what? Other than the physics being kind of wonk, the game isn't too bad so far in this first uh, impression here. First race, of course, so not really sure what to expect going into it. And we came second after all that. <laughs> uh, I guess that's medium difficulty for you. So I decided to try out the uh, rally car, uh, <laughs> one of them. Um, looks like there are fidget spinners on the map, which is a great sign. <laughs> well, we have a shield now at least. Pretty good variety on the tracks, like now that we're running through things. Sandboxes, well, we were on sand for the entirety of the last race, but <laughs> this time we're in the backyard of somebody who appears to be very creative, because they've got a lot of toys. Gonna hit the boys with the magic 8-ball again, although I don't think I have anybody to run into. <laughs> I kind of want to see what that does to somebody. And it just pinged off into nowhere <laughs> off of one of the fidget spinners. All right, then. Okay, so this one is weird. It's a magnet, and it seems to be sticking to physics items along the track. I just lost it. Unfortunately, if you double up on your power-ups, you lose whatever you have. But I suspect that it draws it closer to me or pushes it further away. 
Maybe we can set traps for other players. And the spring is literally a banana, uh, except I guess a little bit more creative because it shoots them off into nowhere. Well, I was winning this race, but unfortunately not now. Uh, hopefully we can catch up to this guy called Ninja, suspiciously so. And I just got destroyed. Well, unfortunate. Okay, we're back immediately. All right, good to know. So in the campaign, there actually is an upgrade system as well. It looks like we can upgrade our engine in the car. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. This is actually really cool here. There's a photo mode where you can look at any of the cars that you've unlocked. Uh, and any of the paint jobs. And any of the characters as well. Lots of detail in these models. <laughs> the art in this game is actually quite good. It's just the physics, man. The physics are not quite there. Super Toy Cars Off-Road is one of those games that I would have no problem handing the controller to just like a young kid, maybe kindergarten age, in order for them to play something that's relatively clean. It's got some fun characters, it's got toys. This is something that is definitely made for kids. And that's okay, that, that makes sense. The target audience is there. <laughs> and it's got a lot of stuff to offer for that demographic. The graphics are nice, it's very colorful, the environments are cool and fun. It's got some fun characters, uh, the cars themselves are fun. The game is fairly easy as well, especially when you upgrade your cars a little bit. You can just walk past everybody on medium. Like, the menus look slick, <laughs> everything looks alright. There is one fatal flaw with this game, and that is the physics. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it other than to say that this game feels twitchy. You kind of just have to accept that that is what it is with this game, and it's unfortunate because I really do think that the rest of the game around it uh, happens to be pretty darn good. This is one of those ones that has a lot of potential. But it's brought down by that one thing, and the Achilles heel has got to be those twitchy physics. Man, oh man. It's really easy to get caught on some of the environment pieces. It is frustrating as well when you're trying to round a shortcut or something and you just get caught on an invisible wall. Uh, I mean, the game has some really interesting stuff as well in the sense that it seems like with the vehicles that are more tuned for off-road, they're legit better off-road. So when you're picking a shortcut, you actually have to pick based on what vehicle you're driving. Because if you drive a road car on a dirt section, you're going to be limited on speed. Like, that's really cool. That's a nice idea. Uh, and I just wish, again, that the steering was not so twitchy. At least give the option. Come on now. Other than that, I would recommend it cautiously. Maybe a cautious recommendation here. It's, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's definitely not a quick cash grab or anything like that. Not an asset flip. Uh, this is a real game that people have put time into and I can appreciate that. I really just wish for a little bit of a steering sensitivity option perhaps, maybe a rework of the steering physics, but other than that, it's okay. So the next game on our list is called Looney Rally. Uh, don't ask me where I found this, but it's got seven user reviews and uh, it looks all right. Uh, when I booted up the game, it showed a Unity logo, so I became concerned, but hopefully, prayerfully, it's not just an asset flip, but maybe something with a little bit of character. It describes itself as a rally racing game uh, where we go to head to head against rival AI racers in gorgeous locations. Let's keep that in mind as we get into it. I mean, it's only three bucks, so it's not out of this world expensive. It's worth giving it a try. So, getting into the game, uh, we immediately have the option to change the color of our car, which is cool. Uh, and it just seems like... Okay, there's only three or four colors. <laughs> I can see the Blazer logo on the side of this. I'm not sure how legal that is. But there are other cars. This one looks to be a Beetle of some kind. Land Rover, maybe. Uh, Ford Focus, <laughs> I guess. And a WRX from the looks of things. Oh, and some monster trucks, too. That's always good. And the last car on the list is a Bowler 4x4, which is not at all a knockoff of some actual real car, but we're stuck with the old Trooper for now. Alright, getting into the race, I uh, was hoping to be able to use a controller, and I'm going to attempt to at the beginning here, but uh, wow, that is deafening. <laughs> I'm not super confident. Uh, oh, actually, it can use a controller, it's just forward on the stick is go forwards. And the view is... 
Strange. Okay, so the view is actually on the mouse still, uh, which is odd. Uh, and I'm using a controller stick to accelerate, turn, and brake, um, which is, again, odd. Uh, I don't really prefer this kind of driving. I gotta say, the sound effects leave a lot to be desired. <laughs> the cell shaded art style isn't bad, though. It's a little Borderlands-esque, but I mean, it's not terrible. It's actually got a hood view as well. I've restarted the race to use the WAS and D keys, uh, just because I felt that that was more... Uh, well, applicable for this. <laughs> um, it's really awkward uh, so far just playing this. One thing I do like is that I can change my license plate, and it is really funny to see a Euro license plate on a Blazer. I'm not sure if these actually went to Europe. So we got some basic things going on here. We got checkpoints, we got laps, uh, position two of three, so not that many opponents on the field at once. Um, this is supposed to be a rally, I assume. Well, that's what the game is called, but it's more like just a circuit race from the looks of things. Like, it's a desert pyramids circuit race. When you turn, the car kind of drastically slows down, which is funny. But I'm noticing that there's a shortcut here, so let's attempt that. Oh, it goes into slow-mo! <laughs> no way, okay, that's kind of fun, actually. But that was a massive detour, and uh, I'm <laughs> sure that it wasn't worth it for the positioning. Oh my goodness, it's almost done. That's a two-minute lap, and uh, second out of third, so not a not a great finish. Also, do we just have to restart? Is there, is there nothing else that we can do here? Okay, apparently somebody was able to do it in one minute and seven seconds. I got 157, so who knows what they're driving. I didn't even make the top 50, but I'm honestly close. <laughs> I'm really... I'm 57th! Oh my goodness. Not that many people have played this game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some money into our engine, uh, and maybe a little bit into our downforce here. Not exactly sure why it's only engine and downforce, but if this makes us go faster, then I'll take it. Oh my goodness, I flipped him! <laughs> Okay, I gotta say the engine upgrade, uh, which we got two of, and the downforce upgrade as well, uh, seems to have made a significant difference. There is damage in this game, by the way. I can see some issues with my car. <laughs> More than one. And first place. Hopefully that means I can actually move on. A uh, 148 should definitely put me into the top 50. Uh, 28th! <laughs> Alright, I am top 30 in this game now. Oh man, that feels good. <laughs> By the way, I'm top 20 now. I thought I'd go for another run with the uh, full upgraded uh, blazer. I managed to do a 144 without a flying lap. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> get on my level. Every single game that I get into with this series is one that I don't want to actively hate as soon as I boot it up. But sometimes the games just aren't worth playing and they're not worth advancing any further. And I would say that this is one of those ones. It's not horrible, but it's not good at all. I was thinking I'd try to give every game at least half an hour chance, but this is not worth that time. The, the only reason to play this game is to beat my record on the leaderboard. That, that's honestly it. Okay, this next one I've been looking forward to, it's Race with Ryan, and uh, if you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, the less detail the better uh, for the purposes of YouTube not thinking that this video is made for children, and YouTube, let me just assure you right now, from, from me to you, I want you to know that this video is not made for children. Uh, so yes, um, let's go ahead and get into Race with Ryan. This might be the highest budget game that we play today, but even then, <laughs> I'm not so sure. Uh, it's a kart racer, uh, racing arcade, absolutely. Apparently combat racing is one of the tags. Who knew that Ryan was into combat? Um, I mean, I'm surprised at least. Uh, I've turned off his narration because, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and this is my very first experience with the game, so let's get into it. It, it looks like the graphic art style, if, if it wasn't anything to do with specific YouTuber whose name starts with an R, then I wouldn't have any idea. I would just think it's like a cute kids racing game, but I need to establish something here, and the rating system for this game, because it's very obviously geared towards young children, 
is going to be a little bit different. The thing I'm going to consider for this is if I had children, would I let them play this? <laughs> and we'll see what the answer is in a bit. Okay, let's just do a... Uh, oh, tutorial. Well, let's just do a fast race and we'll see what that is like. Seem to be a decent amount of tracks. Most of them are unlocked. <laughs> Uh, well, there is DLC for this game, so some of them might not be uh, accessible to me. Okay, we got Pirate Ryan, Astronaut Ryan, Choo Choo Gus. Are these characters in the show? There's a panda, there's a recycling truck, a tractor. Okay, this is an actual car. And a lot of stuff that's locked behind a paywall, which is not great, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Choo Choo Gus. And uh, you know what? Let's let's make it difficult. I'm going on hard. Watch me slap race with Ryan <laughs> on hard difficulty. Let's see if my arcade racing lack of prowess is enough. Oh my goodness, the frame rate is horrible. What is going on, man? <laughs> is this what I can expect from my 2080 Ti on this game? Is <laughs> is racing with Ryan too intense for this? Oh no way, he actually pops up on the screen, what the heck? Is the... the game must be locked to 30, honestly, it, there's... there's gotta be something wrong here. And the camera is so close to the car, like, is this normal? Okay, I'm gonna replace every picture of Ryan with a picture of something completely different. Uh, in order to avoid possible YouTube thinking that this is intended for a kid audience, which I can assure you that it's not, uh, but that's every time I use a power-up this happens. Guys, I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> what is happening? I gotta admit, without music, this game is eerily quiet. <laughs> and I'm guessing that the narration would liven things up a little bit too. Okay, so the game runs smoothly in the after thing. Like, what is going on with this? You would assume that it would work perfectly, because like, this is a game that is made for kids, right? It shouldn't have issues. Okay, so I went into the menu, I turned off V-Sync, and I turned off the frame rate limit, and it seems to be working fine now. Oh, never mind. What on this earth? <laughs> I cannot recommend this entirely based on its ridiculous lack of performance. Even the, like, crappy, really cheaply made asset flip games that I've been playing have been fine. <laughs> This is borderline unplayable. Is there just something I'm missing? Like, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna try to give a review of how I feel about the game, regardless of the, uh, <laughs> the way that it performs. It must be running lower than 30. It feels lower. The physics actually feel fine. I haven't been using the drifting, but, uh, I mean, it's reasonable. <laughs> It's, it's fairly forgiving, which is what you would expect again from a game like this. I'm playing on hard, but it's not very hard. Um, I've been messing around and I'm still second place. As for the game itself, like, it, it's okay. Like, the power-ups seem fine. Everything is based on eggs. Uh, the maps are fun themes. I, I'm not a fan of the constant pop-ups and stuff, and I don't think that... It really makes sense. Like, it feels like a forced way to put him into this game. Um, when I, I, I mean, I don't exactly know the lore, I don't watch the channel, but <laughs> if this stuff is references to his videos, then that would make sense to me, but I don't really know. Graphically, it's fine. Again, um, if it was running better, it would make a lot more sense because this is the Unreal Engine. <laughs> I thought it would be okay. But again, this is one of those games that I'm not going to spend any more time with. After this race, it's getting very hastily uninstalled from my PC. Honestly, I can tell you with confidence that I would not let my own children play this. Like, it runs so poorly. <laughs> I'm not going to make my children suffer at like 20 FPS. Come on now. I'm a, I have better standards than that. So this next one is called Drift and then over in brackets, Drive. So I'm assuming that we are meant to drift in this game. Uh, the Steam page ain't looking good. Uh, mostly negative reviews and uh, it came out in 2017 so it's it's been out for five years now and uh, it hasn't received much attention but let's see if it's actually any decent. You never know with these kind of top-down racing games. Um, some of them are good, some of them aren't. Most of them aren't but uh, let's try it anyways. I mean at only a dollar it's a dollar twenty Canadian. It's not that big of an investment so you never know. So the first thing I've noticed when trying this is that uh, while well, there's music playing and 
Generally, I turn off music because YouTube copyright. The options menu is unavailable and currently under construction, so I have not even the slightest clue what resolution this game is running at, or anything. <laughs> There's only three options. Actually, four, I guess, if you count the leave button. We either clear, uh, options, which doesn't do anything, or play. So, I guess we have no choice but to play. This game actually is working with my controller as well, uh, but I have to capture my entire main display to make it work, so... Yeah, let's see what this is all about. Oh goodness, is there a story to this? Oh, no way, it actually has like an overworld! <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, so learning curves. This will be your first challenge. The curves are not too tight and the weather is clear. Beware of tractors along the way. Sounds good. Let's, uh... Give it a try, I guess. A controller appears to be working. It says enter. I don't know what the actual buttons to go are, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Okay, so it, so far it just kind of seems like a very, very simplistic top-down racer. Um, <laughs> I'm really bad at these games, by the way, so please excuse that. I can't give a score based on my skill. So we th seem to be in third gear, but it is an auto. It's shifting for me. So it seems like third gear is all we got, which I guess makes sense for drift. Drifting around the corners and stuff, I mean, I got a score of 780, that's probably not good. <laughs> uh, did not qualify. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna be stuck on the first map for a while now, aren't we? Yeah, we need at least a thousand to get through. Oh man. Okay, a little bit better that time, I got 823. How the heck do you get 3000? That's nuts. Okay, I figured out the pro strat in this game. It's literally just get on the road and just start wiggling. That's it. That's all you got to do. Oh, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it through this time, boys. <laughs> 1,000. I'll take it. Okay, now we should probably finish the level. 1357, a significant improvement, but I kind of had to mess around to get it. I definitely need some more skills to get through this game. You know, I actually really like the overworld idea for this. It, it doesn't add anything necessarily but it is a cool addition and it is an interesting way to do progression in these kind of games okay so this one's called rattle the cattle the track bends gently through a forested area where the sheep graze careful not to hit them or you will have to refund the shepherd okay so we may actually have to pay somebody back if we hit sheep and we need at least two grand to get through this okay let's do it I'm not really sensing a mostly negative game here. It's not amazing, but it's not horrible. It's... Oh, wow, it actually does take away points. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, um... Wow, that's so hard to avoid. What the heck? And they double up, too. This is the second level in the game, man. What the heck? Okay, there's a dirt section here, and the physics actually do appear to be a little bit different, which is kind of cool. Um, maybe a little bit slipperier, perhaps? is good <laughs> we need the points though i'm a little little short of where we need to be and we only have 10 seconds left oh my goodness come on come on five get me the good stuff get me the good stuff so close no ah oh, 60 points off and we ran out of time to finish oh my goodness i just got the pro strat <laughs> yes 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 i almost got it oh 18 okay so literally all you need to do is race to the end, spin around, and you, you'll definitely win. Oh man, I'm hacking the game. You know, this game would be a lot better as just a racing game instead of the drifting that it is. Like, if it was just a time trial, it would be a lot more fun. Um, <laughs> the drifting, at least in my opinion, is kind of medi- oh dang, I hit the finish line, but it's kind of mediocre. Like, it's- I don't know, we had 42 seconds there, all I have to do is get to the end, spin around, and then I win. I'm playing the game wrong, but I'm still progressing. Okay, time for our... Oh, wait, a little bit over. There we go. Wheelie o death. Right in the center. Another 30 seconds or so. Hopefully we can make uh, that score that we need to be able to pass through this. Although we still might not make it. Come on, game. Let me have at least something here. 16, 1700 maybe. 4, 3, 2... No, I got a timeout again! So, um, after one level of this game, and I guess failing to complete the second uh, over and over again for the last 10 minutes, I actually don't think it's that bad. It's not good, but for a dollar. If you're into these kind of games where you're looking above things, it's isometric is what it's called, not sure. 
a plan view if you're into AutoCAD. <laughs> this is uh, maybe something you should check out. I mean, it might even go on sale for way cheaper than that. So keep a lookout, not actually that bad. And the last game we'll be playing today is Wing Breakers. Uh, this one is a little bit different than the past ones that I've been running with, and that's because this is planes instead of cars, and I'm, well, happy to say that planes can have racing games too, and yes, this does open up the door for a lot of other things like boats, and also snowmobiles, and ATVs, and anything else that's a racing game that's an arcade racing game still fits in this series, but this one is uh, actually very new. It came out March 11th of this year, and it does seem to have quite a bit of effort put into it, which is kind of what attracted my attention. For a game that's so small and something I never heard of before, it seemed like it was worth trying. So this one describes itself as an extreme battle air racing mayhem with crazy cows, uh, surviving chaotic air fights full of missile loaded planes, threatening drones, and angry animals. So it's a mixture of planes and animals for some reason, although I saw in a recent update that they gave you the option to turn off the animals if you don't like them. So <laughs> I guess screw you, PETA. But the menus look good, like it, it looks decent and it plays fine with my controller as well, just out of the box. Like <laughs> those are things that I am very thankful for considering what we've played so far today. Seems like there are quite a few different planes, we've got upgrades, we've got skins and stickers and lots of other things. Uh, yeah, you can see that I've not done anything. <laughs> I actually have done the tutorial in this game, just to make sure that it's actually playable. And also, I suck at playing games, as you would suspect, so uh, we're gonna try the tutorial again. The tutorial is actually kind of smart, where it puts our plane on a set of springs and we can wiggle around without actually doing anything. But pitch up and down, fairly simple stuff. Uh, and I've made sure that my controls are inverted because that's what I like. Uh, we can slam our wings into the ground, throttle all the way up. And uh, yeah, we got machine guns, we got missiles, ammo in the left corner down there. And obviously we can blow people up, which is fun. And we can roll as well, as janky as that looks. Alright, time to start the race. <laughs> the tutorial ends fairly quickly, and then uh, they just kind of let you go, which is cool. So, yeah, here we are. And by here we are, I mean here we are, because after that they teleport you into the actual game. Uh, missiles, uh, we may as well just start shooting everything that we want to. I'm not really sure, like, why you would be doing that. <laughs> it seems like you can focus a lot more on just driving. Uh, through a lot of these loops and stuff. I am using the simplified flight controls because again not particularly good at these kind of games so I need as much help as I can get. <laughs> Let's turn the throttle up to max and just go for it. Whoa I just got slapped into a robot of some kind. Oh my goodness I may die. And there are cows at the finish line. I think that's where the animals come in. Engine overheating not a big deal <laughs> and I think we made it through uh, fairly easily there. A nice first place, apparently? Alright, I'll take it. Okay, let's get into the first level here of the rookie thing. Uh, a rookie campaign, I should say. There seem to be quite a few different campaigns. Probably each with a similar amount of levels and, uh, I guess, different ways to play as well. Let's go with the Ghost Duster. Alright, people, get ready to get slapped. <laughs> I should probably try the online and see if anybody's actually playing it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll probably get destroyed. We got boost, let's do it! You know, the robots are kind of just randomly strewn about. <laughs> okay, engine overheating, I should probably consider that. Also, this cow, okay, this cow as well. They really don't want me to win this race. Oh my goodness, this game is frantic at times. <laughs> well, it's kind of like a kart racer, but uh, also not. And somehow I managed to get first again. I, I feel like the game's taking it easy on me. You know, this game is just kind of a weird, like, group of, of things mixed together. Cows and robots and planes and... The, whoever made this has a very odd sense of humor, but I can appreciate it. And first, once again, would you look at that against Beefy Jack and Psycho Steven. Okay, so it seems like every race has their own objective, uh, which is probably also winning the race at the same time. Uh, this one, for instance, is we need to explode a certain amount of oil barrels, which all seem to be 
uh, somewhere near the start of the race and I completely missed them. <laughs> so yeah, that might not actually happen. As an example, the last race that we did, I didn't actually complete the objective because I didn't uh, do any of the, the XP stuff that it wanted me to. <laughs> so I guess that doesn't count. Hopefully I got enough of them. Okay, that time it seems like we did something and uh, we got a sticker of a cat with a sword. Okay, yeah, it definitely seems like we checked that one off the list. Uh, let's try the collect 20 thumbs up items. <laughs> Not sure exactly what that means. Also, I've applied our cat to our plane because of course. Oh, there's the thumbs up. So we literally just have to pick these things up. Easy enough. Man, the <laughs> my experience with plane games is so limited. I uh, have Microsoft Flight Sim, <laughs> like the new one, but I'm so bad at it that I just, <laughs> even on the like normal difficulty, or I guess normal uh, settings where they take things way easy on you, I still can't play it right. As you can probably tell, I just got attacked by bears, and now my plane has been respawned. I've got all the things that I need, but I'm only in third, so... <laughs> Evidently not quite where we need to be. I'm sending the missiles. They better do something But uh, there are a ton of check marks, so I didn't need to go as hard as I did at the beginning Fifth place not bad, but we did get the objective So after a few more races uh, I think I've got the general gist of what's going on in this game there well <laughs> It's kind of the same thing over and over again And I'm assuming that what's gonna happen is as we go down say we go from rookie to talent the things are just going to get more difficult. Uh, like maybe instead of 15 drones, it's gonna stay 20 or something like that. It kind of seems like that's the general gameplay loop for this. Obviously there are a lot of other modes, including Grand Prix, Time Attack, Play Online, just a lot of other things that you can do, uh, which is cool. Just briefly, I wanna see what's going on with the online to see if anybody's actually playing this. Okay, I don't see any of these people as being uh, People who are online, I appear to just be racing against kind of normal AI, so I'm not really sure what to think about that. <laughs> but maybe it's a challenge mode or something that I entered. I don't know too much about this game at this point. Oh no, this is not going well though, I know that for sure. These races are short, man. 20 seconds, yikes. That was quick. Oh, interesting. It looks like these races are actually made by other people, like other members of the community. So that's kind of cool. I guess there's a creator somewhere buried in this game. Okay, my multiplayer session finally ended, and it seems like my team lost, which is fine, but uh, yikes, that was lengthy and also extremely repetitive. My goodness. Well, my overall review of Wing Breakers is that it's not bad, actually. Probably one of the highest effort games that we played so far today. And overall, it seems like a pretty decent arcade sort of combat playing game if you're into that. Bit of a weird sense of humor, some online stuff. It's got the full package, it's not very expensive, so it might be worth a try if you're into it. Okay, let's wrap things up. Five games in and, well, some mixed results. I guess that's to be expected. Overall, though, this has been a lot of fun. It's fun to check out these new games that I haven't had a chance to before. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of fun to clear some of my backlog of games that have been sent to me or have been brought to my attention by developers that they wanted me to see. And, uh, well, <laughs> now I saw them. But yes, I should specify uh, all these games I received for free, but that does not mean I gave them any sort of lightness on the review. It's important to note that this video is not sponsored. Uh, this was entirely my opinion. <laughs> and I'm sure that some of the developers are not going to necessarily be pleased with my takes. But you know, that's kind of how it goes. I've been looking for a format where I can talk about these games that uh, sort of fits into this channel a little bit better, and I want to know what you think of this. Would you like to see more of these style videos? Maybe I can cover a few more games. And if you have any suggestions of games that you want me to play, please comment them down below and I'll definitely be reading them. I read every comment. That being said, to be sure to subscribe to this channel, I'm just upping the quality of things every week here, trying to be as good as I can be at uh, making fun videos for you guys. So that's the goal. <laughs> that's what I'm striving towards. And if you're interested, then we'll keep going. So yeah, like this video, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys again next time for more steam dumpster diving? 
Okay, maybe we won't go that far. 